Hey guys, what's up? Mike Heard 360. I appreciate you tuning in to my little YouTube channel and watching the videos. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and uh, let's get on the business. So what I'm doing, I'm out here playing around on a Saturday afternoon in the shop. And I wanted to see if I could kind of put some numbers on paper and, and, and kind of show you where the rubber meets the road on cellular trail camera signal strength and power consumption and power consumption is gonna uh, it's gonna relate to the uh, the battery life either with the lithium pack that's in them the uh, the double A's that you put in there or or an external or even your solar you know if you're if your solar is uh, getting marginal Sun and uh, and then it's pulling a lot of power uh, having a supply of power for a lot of pictures for those cameras and uh, and you got to be considerate about your uh, your signal strength. So it's I'm not really here to advertise one antenna over another or or try to uh, advertise an external antenna, uh, but it was the only way I could really kind of show you what I wanted to see and what I wanted to show you. So I just took um, you know I took the factory antenna and took I was trying to actually uh, these antennas right here probably don't have quite the performance of the factory antenna but they are pretty much indestructible so what i was trying to do was get a lower signal strength and i'm reading inside the shop here with the with the door down it's a metal door and it the best uh well it's not the best but the the most reduction i could get was down to three bars and just strong um then when I hook up my external, because it's outside for one thing, and then it is elevated off the ground, but it's not very far away from the shop. It's about oh, six feet or so from the shop. So Mike could even do better if I moved it way on out there. But it, it uh, it's showing me all four bars and very strong signal. So there's the two differences. So we're going from strong three bars to very strong four bars. I can only imagine that if you had a camera that was showing one bar and weak or moderate, uh, th that these numbers would be even much greater. Um, and if you were able to to uh, to get a better antenna, one of my directional antennas, or even the omnidirectional ridge tech, get it up higher off the ground and improve your signal, you're going to see a significant battery life increase how much it just depends it depends on what you're able to achieve some guys call me and and they're you know they're nowhere near cell tower so they're struggling with signal and they're getting barely a bar on their phone sometimes not even any um and and so they want to know how to improve their signal strength and then they're also telling me at the same time well my battery life is horrible so all i did let's see my little meter here and it's uh, I've got a 12 volt power supply coming into it, plugged into the wall, and uh, it's at 12.41 volts. And then po it's power in the camera, and I'm able to measure when the camera transmits when, from the time it, it actually starts pulling power. I was timing it with a stopwatch, constantly doing that, trying the antennas, trying the outside antenna, trying the inside, back and forth, back and forth, lots of different times. And I'll just show you what it does when you so in there it, it it started it went active it took a picture and now you know it's drawing uh, what 0.17 amps uh, you can see how many watts it's pulling uh, 2.1 2.2 watts 1.7 or 0 0.17 0 0.18 amps uh, so it's going through that process and then you'll see once it finally uploads everything. And then it shuts back down and then we're back to zero. So then I would stop my stopwatch. As soon as it hit zero, I hit stop. And so I'm measuring those times. And here's what I found. Okay, so with the external antenna, it averaged between 26 and 27 seconds. I think one time I actually did get 25 seconds from the time it started pulling power to the time it shut back down and there was zero power being pulled. Uh, that was with the signal was very strong and four bars. Okay. Then the, a camera direct mount antenna, which is one of these two, um, it averaged anywhere. Sometimes it would it would do like 27, 28, right on the high side of 27, um, real close to 28. But most of the time I was seeing between 
29 and 36 seconds to, uh, I think even one time it was 38 seconds to upload. So I just, you know, being conservative, I said, okay, let's say it's an average of five seconds longer that that camera is in the transmitting mode, pulling power from the batteries, uh, and let's just say a thousand picks. I got guys that, that tell me they get a thousand picks every couple days. Uh, so we'll just go off of a thousand pictures. At a thousand pictures, the difference of time in the lower signal, and it still wasn't bad signal, it was strong in three bars. Um, so I, I imagine if you got down to one bar, two bars, and it was showing moderate or weak, uh, the, this number right here and this number right here would be even higher. But we're going to go with five seconds, just five seconds difference, guys. I'm going from strong to very strong, uh, it actually was was more than that. It, it was as much as, uh, what, what was that, uh, almost 10 seconds longer. So this number's being very conservative. But we'll, so we got a thousand pictures over the course of a thousand pictures. That's 5,000 extra seconds that the camera's pulling power. Uh, we'll divide that by 60 seconds and we get 83.33 minutes. So the camera, and then you divide that by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. That gives you 1.38 hours, okay? So for just a thousand pictures and only a five second difference in upload time, you got the camera was pulling power an extra 1.38 hours. That's pretty significant, guys. Uh, so, you know, if there's a way that you can get a better signal uh, using a better antenna, using a, uh, a high gain directional or an omnidirectional antenna, and you are you got really weak signal, um, if you can use one of those antennas to improve your signal, it should also help you with your battery life. So, you know, if you got... Uh, if, you, if you're at moderate and you can get it up to strong or very strong with the directional or the omnidirectional, I think it's really going to make a big difference over the course of, of the life. You know, let's say uh, a set of um, AA lithiums, you, normally you'll get roughly about 5,000 pictures or so, but it if you got it set to picture plus video, uh, it could be more than that. It could be less than that. So some of the guys that are saying, you know, I get I get six to eight thousand pictures on a set of double A lithiums, and other guys over here like I didn't get but a thousand. Well, it's probably related to that right there. Signal strength, upload time. So upload time right there. The difference between that and that. Doesn't seem like much when you're looking at one picture, but then when you look at the big picture, it's a big difference. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Um, if you got any questions, hit me up. Facebook, Messenger, text me. Uh, give me a call during the week. Um, or just go on the website, buy, buy a better antenna. All right. Hope you all have a good weekend. Good luck this deer season. Y'all stay safe.